Hello, the principle of an induction heating is follows. An electric conductor such as iron container placed in the variable magnetic flux is heated rapidly by induced eddy current caused by electromagnetic induction, which is generated by vibration and friction of each molecule in magnetic material under AC magnetic flux. Uh, recently, in a recommended videos on YouTube, I noticed a title that was wrongly induction heater without a coil, and I took a brief look at it, so it was such a device that uses a ferrite core instead of a standard air core. Uh, the idea is really original and new, so I decided to make it to make a heater like this and compare it to standard and flat painting coil induction heating heater presented in some of my previous videos. Uh, the device is completely identical to the previously mentioned and uses an electric circuit called Mazili uh, ZVS driver, which is a modified version of the Royer oscillator. It consists of two or four power MOSFET transistors mounted on large heatsink with fans for cooling. In my case, MOSFETs are SW3205. Also, a very important part is the capacitive bank composed of several capacitors connected in parallel. Uh, in this particular case, there are six quality MK capacitors with a capacity of 1 microfarad each and voltage of 400 volts. Uh, these two toroidal coils serve to limit the, limit the current. In this case the working coil is wound on an open ferrite uh, core. The core is taken from, an, uh, from a high voltage transformer from an old TV. I will use heater to, uh, to heat water, so the iron bowl uh, with water should be placed above the ferrite core. If we want the circuit to oscillate with the same frequency as early mentioned devices, the number, the number of turns must be less than when the core is air, because the magnetic permeability of the ferrite core is much higher than that of air. The device is powered by 12 volts power supply from all server computer. The power supply must provide a minimum 20 amperes of current. And now let's see how the device works in reality. The ferrite core is quite slightly heated and can be touched by hand. Uh, the next time when the water is hot, it boils almost, almost instantly.
We can also heat the steel strip until it ignites. 